Hi folks, We're, I'm making this video here to explain to you how to uh, do a factory reset on a tablet, which is, a, this is a ProScan um, PLT722 3G tablet. It has no hardware um, volume buttons. And with, you know, usually when you go on YouTube or do a search on Google, they tell you to hold down the up volume uh, rocker and then also the power button simultaneously to do a factory reset. Here, in this situation, if you don't have those buttons, what you're going to need is a safety pin, pretty much. That's the only tool you would need. And this is for a situation where if you can't get into the tablet because you forget the password, and after so many attempts, you're not able to log in. And sometimes you're prompted with the Google screen, and once your Gmail and um, password there as well, you're not able to get in because of too many attempts. And the only way to resolve that is to do a factory reset. So all you would need to do is um, if you're in a situation, ensure that the tablet is off. So what I'm going to do first, off, off, first of all, is power it off. So you hold on a power button for you know, like a second, and then click on a OK button. Shouldn't take too long. So it's powered off. Now you're going to turn it this way, where you have the micro USB charge port. Next to that is the actual reset button that you're going to need to push down, which is. Uh, what you're going to use the paper clip for. So what you're going to do first is to stick it in the hole. It's the smallest hole at the top, so that's the easiest way to find it. And you go ahead and put it in there and kind of fill around for the button. It's a small tiny click button. You click it. Once that's clicked, you hold on the power button and wait for you to till you see a blue screen, but still hold it down until you're presented with the Android logo on the screen. So you see the ProScan blue screen here. Give it a few. You should have the Android logo. If you don't have the Android logo, then that means you didn't hold it down long enough or you didn't do it correctly. So now you have the Android logo. This is what is pretty much putting us at the recovery screen where you need to do the, the factory reset. And so what you would do again is after taking it out, you're going to put it back in, do the same thing, hold down the reset button, kind of feel for it. When you do feel it, click it, push it down, and then hold down the power button again. And then you're going to be presented with some blue text on the screen on top of the Android logo. And give it a few. And it should come up. When you see it, then you can release it. And after some time, if, if it doesn't come up, you can try it again. Like in this situation here, it didn't come up, so I'm going to stop it and try it again. Stick the pin in the hole, fill for the button. Once you have it, hold on the power button. Give it a few. And here you go. This is the screen that you want. And it has, gives you a couple options here, reboot, apply, update, et cetera, et cetera. What you want is wipe data slash factory reset, and that's going to reboot the, I mean, that's going to put the phone back into the factory settings as if you just got it out the box from the store. So what you need to do to select that, because the touch screen here does not work, as you see, you're going to need to uh, use the same paper clip, stick it in the hole, Push it a few times. As I'm pushing it, you see it's going to the next option when you're pushing the button correctly, see? So you push until you get down to, uh, make it clear there, the factory wipe, which is the next one. Give me a second here. All right, so once you do have that selected, then you just push the power button, like I just did there. Hold it down for a second, let it go. And then what you're gonna wanna do is, uh, select the, uh, you're going to push that same button I told you with the paper clip, you're going to stick it back in the hole. And push it till you select the yes, delete all user data. So you will lose all your data, unfortunately. But that is the only way to resolve this issue. So give me a moment here if I can get it into the hole. Okay. So I'm going to push it down until I get to yes, delete all user data. And this process is pretty quick I mean, after you select it. So now I'm going to push the power button once again. And you can see that 
the process is taking place now. Once that's done, it's the first option is reboot system now, and that's what you want to do. And you just push the power button to select that, and that's pretty much it. Now the first initial boot up takes a bit of time because that's the first initial uh, setting, so all the uh, settings are processing, and that takes a bit of time. But you're represented with the screen to set up your Gmail, etc. So that's how you uh, do a factory set on a tablet that doesn't have a volume rocker. Um, just using this paper clip, and that's pretty much it. Thank you, and thanks for watching. Just a quick note here, um, just want to let you know, after doing that last reboot, this is the screen you'll be presented with, and this screen here uh, will allow you to select the, the language, which, you know, I'm going to select English, and click Start. And here, once you just select your network, a wireless network, I'm going to skip this now, but normally you'll select, if you're at home, and then select the network, and then you're presented with the the Gmail section here where you click yes to set in your Gmail and that's pretty much it. You, you, you have a, uh, a a tablet starting from the factory default so you should be good to go from there. Let me just click no just to show you and um, let's see here I can just click not now to create a Gmail account. Let me skip through here and let me skip through this. Let's see Actually, let me back up. I'm going to click yes. Uh, actually, playing around here. I did that. Okay, here, um, you can go ahead and click next again and click finish. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, I was user error. But yeah, you're pretty much all set here. Click OK, and you're on the home screen. So that's uh, that should be that should be it. You should be all set from there. Thanks for watching.